So she was basically being a rental girlfriend for this bucktooth Timmy Turner looking bastard right here. What the hell are you on about? Well, hello there. Hi, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and I, I guess that's the starting of the video. Um, uh, uh, we're doing CJ the Champs, uh, rent a girlfriend. Um, I've never heard of this before. Um, so it's a viewer request by y'all. All right, so remember if it sucks, you ask for it. So I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. So so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Well, she was basically being a rental girlfriend for this bucktooth Timmy Turner looking bastard right here. Okay. One of these two dudes are homies, bro. They both down bad. Finally watched Rent a Girlfriend, and all I gotta say is this man Kazuya might be the most down bad anime character of all time. This nigga is renting booty. What? I just want y'all to let that shit sink in real quick. Okay. This nigga is renting Gucci. This man is spending forty thousand yen on some rental booty. Forty thousand yen? What? I'm American. Maybe that's cheap. Okay, maybe it's cheap. Maybe the dollar to yen ratio ain't ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe that's like forty bucks. Wrong, wrong. Like forty bucks? Hey yo, let's convert that shit to U.S. dollars real quick. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. Alright, uh, forty thousand. Oh my fucking god! Oh no, no. $361. Um um uh i'm sorry um what prawn is free porn it's free um i'm gonna give you some life advice just this coming from shay you know you can take it or leave it you know what i'm saying but if you're gonna pay 360 dollars for something i would give you this life advice i would say Take that $361.19. Take half of that to a therapist, okay? And take the other half to a gym, okay? The reason why I'm saying this is working on yourself makes you feel better physically, and then working in this mental makes you make you think better, okay? That is the easiest way, okay? You, it, like, I'm gonna tell you, Women are attracted to confidence. If you're confident in what you do or how you speak or how you carry yourself, you'll get a long way. All right. So just make sure, just make sure you do that. Okay. As long as you're confident, women will pick up on it. Okay. I don't know why you are spending $361 on a girl. Um, but, um, gym membership and uh, of course uh a therapist and then why 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 you still have like a hundred dollars left over buy yourself a new shirt there you go y'all almost had a fucking heart attack that is a whole paycheck at walmart my nigga and don't even think i forgot about the excess 19 cents on the back of that bitch this might be some of the biggest simp shit I've ever seen in my life. Hey, yo, we gotta figure out how the hell homie got so down bad. So apparently his ex, mommy, <laughs> I got a whole segment for this bitch later, but we ain't gonna get into that yet. But apparently she didn't want to do nothing with him, and she fucking dumped his ass on sight. Damn, that, that, that's kind of fucking tragic, yo. But yeah. She dumped him on sight? Okay, so, I mean... I always want to know both sides of the story. She dumped him on site, okay? So she dumped him on site. 
uh, she dumped him on site, so maybe he did something wrong. Okay, I'm not blaming a man here. I, if if you if you if you if anybody watch any of my content, I'm not blaming a dude. But you know, there's two sides to every store. All right, so hopefully he'll give me a reason why she dumped him. That kind of put this man like in really deep dark places. Like you know, this man is smacking and whacking his meat all in his room by himself and shit. Looking at old pictures of the b and shit. And he Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't don't look at old pictures of your ex and do that. Don't do that. Don't don't. And thank you for throwing your Kleenex away. But go wash your hands. To that deep dark place in his mind and ended up deciding and told himself, you know what? I'm a rent a. And voila! That's how this nigga ended up spending three hundred and sixty one dollars and nineteen cents on a for a rental date. My God, through all my years, I've never seen a nigga this down bad before. Like, yo, yo, th this is terrible. This man is going through a different type of post-nut syndrome. I, I I, can't even describe this shit. But anyways, he meets our rental girlfriend, Mizuhara, and Lord have Martha, she is bad. But God damn it, she bad as hell, but she making his pockets hurt. Make his pockets hurt. <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> y'all, we gotta Sorry. think about it. She's really milking this nigga for three hundred and sixty-one dollars, yo. No, but moving on though. So, so is it three hundred and sixty-one dollars and nineteen cents each time? Do you count phone calls? Is phone calls half off? So if you $361.19, so what we're looking at $180.60, I believe. Um, I had to round uh it up to a 20. Yeah, $180. No, one hundred and eighty dollars and sixty cents. So, so is phone calls half off? I don't know. I don't pay for box. So, um, people who pay for box, put it down below. <laughs> and everything, and then they get in a little bit of a predicament. So his homies think that that's his real girlfriend now, and also his grandma. So yep, they got. Uh, hopefully, his grandma gonna die soon, so he can get out of this. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. I am disgusted. Okay, fuck your homies. Bitch, just say, just break up with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? But your grandma, you know, okay, don't. Grandmas don't need to die. Get shot in your shit. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't even. Well, you can always just say you broke up with her too. Grandma ain't gotta die. You smart. Let's keep on milking this shit now. Oh, what a coincidence! They both live by each other. I, I low key kind of feel bad for Cheesy at this point. But I well, I mean, I mean, I mean, now he can just play the landlord because <laughs> that's what all the money going in the first place. <laughs> hey, yo, put her ring on my tab. I'm trust and believe. Trust and believe, man. Hold up. Is it's like renting a is renting a girlfriend like Starbucks? You you go enough times you get a free drink, or is it more or less like? like like a punch a card you just go enough places and you get the 10th date free i don't know you know you want to respond go ahead write it in the comments below go ahead out yourself i laugh but i, I would love the information don't at the same time because yeah, she's getting paid my nigga but anyways <clears throat> but you know who i don't feel bad for this bitch right here <laughs> I'm not even mad at it. That's how I felt when Rangoku died. I was that pissed. I was that pissed. I was that fucking pissed. Oh. I was that fucking pissed. I could have, I could have punched a monitor. I threw my phone. I was pissed off. Ah, mommy, where do I begin with this thought? Mommy is the definition of that toxic ex that doesn't want you to have any happiness in your life. Like, how the hell are you gonna break up with this man on sight, tell him nothing about it, and just block him on everything? Like, to be honest with you, If she's that toxic, that, that needed to happen. That needed to happen. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this really quickly. No one owes you anything in this life, okay? So let, let me be honest and serious because I, I hear a lot of men 
and a lot of women say this, I just want closure. I, I feel like I'm owed closure. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Only thing that you owe owed in your life is to be black and die. That's the only thing life owes you. If you're white, be white and die. Mexican, Mexican and die. Asian, Asian and die. Okay? If you don't, if you don't identify with a race, your non-identifying ass and die. Okay? That is the only thing that life owes you. All right? So, really quickly, if she blocked you off of everything, that's a sign. That was God trying to intervene, saying, keep this crazy bitch out your life. I'm just going to put that out there and be honest and serious. Okay? Don't. Don't ever try to reach for closure because right when you ask for closure, they're going to find a way to ruin your life even more. You think I'm bullshitting? You think I'm... You th ask Johnny Depp how it's going right now. She shit in his bed. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Ask him. Ask him. Just took a shit in his bed. Just in the bed. Get those toxic hoes out your life. Yes, even you the reason why this man is so down bad at the moment. I mean, y'all, look at this shit right here. It was at a dinner and everything, and Mizuhara is there. It's causing his little fake girlfriend in there. Oh, and guess who's also there? Mommy. And oh my god, bro. She dog this man, yo. Like, oh my god, look at the shit that she is saying. Once we kissed, he wanted it every day, even if lunch had been packed with garlic. And then he tried to hold my hand all the time and take me to pubs that stay open late for dinner. It was almost impressive just how horny he was. Bruh, she had the whole room shook. How the hell you gonna dog this man in front of everybody? Swallow sadness! It got so bad the rental girlfriend had to stand up for this nigga. Like, thank God. I mean, he's paying her enough. Really, nigga? <laughs> Three hundred and sixty-one dollars. I mean, maybe he got the 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 premium package because I'm assuming he has to pay for the food too. Um, get this hoe out your life. Get her out your life. Get her out your life. Get her out your life. Okay, there you don't you don't need to keep her in your life. I have seen so many of my friends try to figure out a way to try to keep their ex in their life and be and say, Shay, we can be friends. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Oh no, no. No, you can't. You, you cannot be friends with her. You cannot be friends with her because you love her. So you're not friends. And the only thing that you're doing is prolonging this heartache. Okay? I've seen one of my homeboys break up with one of his girlfriends. Become her best friend. <laughs> As she told him every time that she slept with somebody else. You know who he was crying to? Not her. Me. <laughs> And I told him, I said, dude, let this girl alone. This is just going to end up in heartbreak. He's like, no, nah, she's going to figure out that that I was the best thing for her. She's going to figure it out. And then when she comes back to me, I, I'm going to be here with open arms. I said, nigga, this is the seventh guy that she slept with in three months. She's going to come back with you with dick on her breath. Bruh. Or she's going to come back to you. Uh, like Forrest Gump with Janai with AIDS. Bitch, leave that hoe alone. A bitch! And then she kept on playing with this man's emotions throughout the whole show. Oh my god, yo, the streets are calling for this hoe. Get the f off of my goddamn screen, yo. And then we have Ruka, the character that is basically simping for the simp. That is hella interesting. So she was basically being a rental girlfriend for this buck tooth Timmy Turner looking bastard right here. No one of these two dudes are homies, bro. They both down bad. So she figures out that Cheezer is a rental and shit. And she basically forces this man to become her boyfriend. Shit, I mean, it's better than paying $361.19 for some ass. And she's willing to throw it back and shit, too! But of course, we gotta remember, this is an anime. So you already know the MC is gonna be a pussy and he's not gonna hit that boudet. Like, bruh, she was about to throw that. Um. Ah. Uh, look at that. Oh, I feel bad for her back. Look at that simpation. Look at the simpation. It 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 messed up her spine. Look look how concave. That simpation did it, okay? This is what happens with girls on IG when they don't have no ass. They just, they just, they, 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 they break their back to poke that ass out. 
and you're telling me that you're paying three hundred and sixty one dollars and nineteen cents to have sex with this girl but you get free box a year and you're saying that you're gonna stay faithful to the box that you have to pay for is 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 that what we're saying I have so many questions Nani like I never what are you dumb are you dumb stupid or dumb huh so you have free box and you're like no not that not that box I want to pay almost four hundred dollars for my box uh, you, you picked an expensive bitch dumb as hell that shit back in a love hotel, bruh. You know what his bitch ass did? Look at the little motherfucker. He like, oh my god. I gotta stay loyal to my three hundred and sixty-one dollar and nineteen cents booty. Look at this shit. Come here, eat the Fuck! For fuck's sake, yo. If you gonna act like this, you might as well go back to your room and beat your meat for eternity, nigga. Cause you ain't get no ass no time soon. Damn. Anime protagonist ceased to piss me off. And then we have Sumi. Now she's quite shy. I mean, she got a little bit of social anxiety and shit. And uh, she kind of can't do shit. Like, how the hell you almost bust your ass while bowling? Beat down. But you know what? All that aside, she cute as fuck. Bitch, I'm adorable. Yo. Come here, okay? Oh, Oh, melts my heart. <laughs> but anyways, yo, this show was actually hella good for some reason. I was not expecting a show named Rent a Girlfriend to actually be so entertaining. But you know what's kind of crazy, though? I looked this shit up, and this is a real thing. What? You can actually rent a girlfriend in Japan. You know what? I've had enough of this. To hell with all your dirty heathen. I mean, you can you can rent a bitch here too. Technically, like like I guess the oh to go you know what to go out with. I was thinking like you can you can rent a girl for OnlyFans like, but I guess I just falls in a lot of porn. But you can rent a girl. I can't, no, I think that's no, but that's just an escort. No, I don't think no. I guess like for family functions or something, you rent them so so you don't have to deal with them. I... Look, dog. Let come, come close, come close. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Mhm. Mm Get a fucking therapist, okay? Don't 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 go to Japan and be like, this is my solution. That plane ticket that you was going to spend to go to Japan to rent a girl. You can get a therapist. Go get one. It's, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Get yourself together. All right. Because it's not like he's a busy man. As in like he's a busy man. He's a busy. He's a busy businessman. And he was like, I'm just going to pay for some box while I'm here. And cool. Whatever. No, he is lonely. He's lonely. And he fell in love with his escort. Okay, um, he basically is trying to pretty woman this bitch is go get a therapist. Yeah, it ain't worth it, dog. Dude, if he go out with this girl, if he go out with this girl, okay, go out with this girl four times in a week. That's like. Three four new PlayStations? That's a Tesla payment. Nigga, you know how much food that is? Nick Bruh. You can get a suit. You could get so much money. You can spend so much money on this bitch, but you can you can do all of this self improvement. Oh yeah, Shay, it's an anime. I know this, but I always try to sneak in life lessons while I'm here with you. Go get yourself together. All right, you. Yeah, you. You. Go get yourself together. All right. Put the baby oil down. Okay. Put you. Come on. 
put your put your credit card down okay that only fans girl still don't want to fuck with you go get yourself together and meet and, and and meet somebody that you can actually you can actually have a lasting bond with okay there you go i swear yo if i actually see one of y'all do this shit i'm gonna fucking hit y'all anyways uh i'm gonna take my leave uh i'm gonna head out so uh is this a good anime hell i don't know I just I just see so much so much that could just possibly go wrong. It's not even funny. Um, only thing I'm gonna say is you do you boo boo. And if it make if it make you happy, and as long as it's not hurting kids and animals, I don't give a shit. All right, you do what you want to do. But I'm telling you, you're gonna save you a lot of time and effort. To um, it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort. All right. And it's better to work on yourself than 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 work on then it's better to work on yourself than actually to pay pay some girl to pay to rent some girl. Okay. That's just being honest and serious. I do have a cash app, but you ain't renting me. Um nigga, I got shit to do. <laughs> nigga. Shay, we gonna go out on a date. What do you do? Well, I go to work and right when I'm done with work, I go and edit for four hours a day. Every day? Every day. Go to your premieres? Yeah. Then what do you do? I edit. And then after you, after you, when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? I edit. And then what else do you do? I go to work and then I come home and then I edit. I live in this chair. <laughs> Besides when I have to go to work. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but I love what I do. But if you want to throw, if you want to throw three hundred and sixty-one dollars and nineteen cents at a sister, you can throw it at me. I'll, I, I catch it. Mm. I catch it. Shit, my ring light done went out, so I catch it. <laughs> But anyway, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Original links for the creator will be down below. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Animals and bitches feeling like the Serengeti. On that trail tip, you know I'm always top with the machetes. Hit your mama's crib and bitch when she ain't serving the spaghetti. Hey, shit ain't sweet. You said you got the number one. Well, bitch, you missed.